Good morning, everyone. Today is day five on our Bike Week uh, loop. Uh, today we're going to go from Palm Coast City up to St. Augustine via the A1A Highway right along the coast. So I hope to get some more video of the ocean. It's a really beautiful drive. If you ever get a chance uh, and you're not in any hurry, take A1A. As we start out this morning, we're heading right back east on the same road we came in the night before. And this is the view as you get right up to the coast here of A1A, uh, where the road runs right along the beach. Um, it just makes for an absolutely uh, wonderful ride uh, when you get to hear and uh, smell the surf and ocean. Um, it's just really a great ride, especially on a day like today, where it's just not a cloud in the sky. A1A all along the beach uh, makes for a really nice ride, but this section here uh, was far enough away uh, from the hustle and bustle uh, that it was a much easier and nicer ride. You just had the road more to yourself. Today we're doing some sightseeing and our first stop is the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. So let's go take a look. The St. Augustine uh, Lighthouse and Museum also has uh, many exhibits. Um, they had uh, one particular uh, small home filled with uh, model boats. Uh, that I found really interesting. They have the old lighthouse keeper's house uh, redone. Um, you can also take a self-guided tour of the lighthouse itself and climb uh, clear to the top if you so choose. Um, there's quite a bit here and they have some interactive play areas for uh, young children if you have young children. They also have a uh, room uh, or a small house there that's dedicated to the Coast Guard. So they have several different displays uh, that uh, may be of interest. In this particular clip here, these are uh, water canisters for the lighthouse. If you look real carefully, you can see a little miniature Roy at the top of the lighthouse waving down while I'm filming. The curators and restorers have made the interior of the lighthouse keeper's home look much like it would have looked back in 1876 when the home was built. They've done a nice job. The basement houses a shipwreck display. The sea clamp is huge. I'll put my hand in the shot so you can see uh, how big that thing is. This is the house with all the models that I was referring to. These uh, were just done meticulously and uh, they look absolutely gorgeous. I can't imagine the number of man hours that it took to produce these uh, replica models of actual ships. These are way cool. This 
this replica here is showing the uh, lighthouse as it originally was before the new one was built. This bridge takes you over the uh, port of St. Augustine into the old part of the city. Um, all the architecture in the old part of the city uh, goes back uh, hundreds of years. Uh, some of these older buildings are uh, way cool. I'll describe some of them as they come into frame here. Our next stop on today's adventure is the Leitner Museum. Right across the street where we parked, uh, you're looking at uh, the side of Flagler College. And as we walked toward the Leitner Museum, we uh, went right down the street. And what you're seeing here is the front of Flagler College. Uh, this just is an absolutely beautiful campus. Uh, one of the prettiest I've seen. There's a lot of pretty campuses. And right uh, across the street from the uh, Flagler College is the Alcazar Hotel. The Alcazar Hotel is owned by the city of St. Augustine. Um, they've developed it into a quadrangle of businesses and the Leitner Museum. This is the uh, front facade. And as you walk through the entrance, you come into this quadrangle of a really nicely gardened area and fountain. Um, just makes for a beautiful, beautiful setting inside the hotel. The Leitner Museum, and I quote here from their pamphlet, the Leitner Museum is home to one of the best collections of fine and decorative 19th century art in the country. Housed in the former Alcazar Hotel, which was built by Henry Flagler in 1888. The museum features five floors of galleries, exhibits, paintings, sculptures, glass art, ceramics, furniture, and scientific artifacts. The building's elaborate architectural design creates an authentic setting for all those collections. In this particular clip, this just stunningly beautiful grandfather clock stands at about probably somewhere between about eight and a half and ten feet high. I filmed just a portion of the collection here. Um, there's just so much in this particular museum uh, that to be able to document all of it, I would probably have to take an hour and a half to two hours worth of filming it. Uh, but the displays are stunning and the artwork is off the charts. This particular set of uh, glassware is very similar to glassware that my mother has that's antique. Hope you like this, Mom. I personally enjoy doing woodworking projects and this Japanese hand-carved cabinet caught my eye. Um, I believe this was probably my favorite piece in the collection. Uh, the detail in it was just unbelievable. Thank goodness the GPS likes straight lines from point A to point B. Here we're riding through the narrow streets of the old downtown area of St. Augustine on our way to Fort Castillo to San Marcos National Monument that's right along the water.
Fort Castillo de San Marcos is a national monument and it is only open on a limited number of days of the week with a limited number of visitors. Uh, because we were delayed a day by rain, uh, we did not fall on a day when the fort was open for visitors. I think right now they're only taking 100 visitors a day because of COVID-19. But we did get a chance to walk around the outside and see the outside of the fort. Instead of taking a straight route from St. Augustine to Gainesville, which was our next destination, we took a side trip through the Ocala National Forest. As we passed by, I could see a lot of Forest Service roads or park roads that went through the forest that would uh, need exploring at a later date. Uh, most of them were all sand roads and uh, loose sand at that, but it looked like it would be fun if we had the time to go down those. So I'm going to have to go back at some time. Well, today was packed full of all kinds of uh, interesting things. We started out going to Flagler Beach and up along A1A along the coast. And then we took in uh, the Lighthouse and Maritime Museum, Leitner Museum. Then we did the fort. Uh, unfortunately, that was closed, so we didn't get to go on the inside, but we did get to walk around it. And then we went through uh, Rural Drive uh, through the Ocala National Forest. It was uh, really beautiful, but now we're uh, settled in here at Gainesville, Florida for the night, and uh, so we'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.